All right, welcome back. I can't begin to guess at how many stories and conversations we've hosted on Local 4 and at this table on how to improve Detroit public schools. Well, we're now trying something new. We have picked a school, a single school, and we're rolling in to help one day at a time. Help me, Hank. Hank Winchester is heading our efforts at Thurgood Marshall Elementary and Middle School. Hank, let's start with how we came, came to choose uh, Thurgood Marshall. That's a very good point because we ultimately did not choose the school. We let DPS choose the school. So, you know, it's well documented the problems with DPS. We've mm -hmm. all reported it. Um, and we knew we could make a difference. So we contacted DPS and we said, find us a school in need. And they sent us to Thurgood Marshall. And, you know, we both covered DPS issues for how many years? Yeah, now? yeah. And, and it's one thing to cover those stories, to go to court, to see what's happening. But when you walk into these buildings, when you talk to the parents and talk to the students, you really get a sense of the day-to-day -day challenge, and it's huge. Yeah, the, the, there is clearly two different needs that any school has. Obviously, it's got its uh, academic side. The physical side, uh, though, is really where uh, it's kind of that moment when a child walks in and they're either excited about where they are right. and excited about sitting down and learning, or it's just not a very uh, pleasant place to go. And that's where we're starting, is trying to change that part. Right? Yeah, you're trying to change the, the physical look of the building. I mean, when we went through, it's, it, there's no other way to put it. It's sad. Yeah. It's depressing. You know, all the walls are dirty. There are holes in the walls. There are cracks in, in the walls and the ceilings. There are holes everywhere. And, and I mean, that alone affects, you know, the behavior of, of people, I think. There you see that's yeah. one of the bathrooms. Uh, that's the main gymnasium. So we start with a lot of these cosmetic issues, like we've already painted the cafeteria, we did the principal's office, uh, generous donations by Hire It Done and Fathead to help spruce that up. Yeah. But now we take things to a, a different level where we need to focus on technology. Uh, we were talking about the library right. and the media center. It's um, hard to call it a library. It's hard to call it a library. Or I mean, we had more technology when I was in elementary school in the, in the early 80s yeah. than, than these kids do today so it's focusing on uh, some of the superficial things if you will making the building look better but the longer goal is to improve the quality of education for these kids and eventually the, that that's what eventually this extends to changing academics and assisting with academics and what's going on in the classroom yeah absolutely and the, the principal has been fantastic and really mm -hmm. receptive to it we've had conversations with teachers so right now we're still in the mode of we want to listen we want to hear what do you need and how can we help and you know, we're, we're here in downtown Detroit. We've been in downtown for how many years now? Many of these schools are our neighbors. Yep. Uh, we have a responsibility, and if there's something we can do, uh, we wanna make a good impact. It's also really difficult to look at all this stuff. I and mean, when you see that the bench in, in the, what, the what, was, two by what four. was it? It was a two by four on yeah. two buckets. Um, it's, it's really difficult not to get caught up though in how did it get this far? Right. And now, obviously, you can't stop there because if you spend too much time on those questions, you don't move forward and you right. just move at the speed of the slowest ship. But it really is sort of uh, sobering to realize that this uh, that a school has been allowed to fall into this kind of disrepair. It really is. And you know, since we did our first story, we've gotten so many emails from people who said, I remember Thurgood Marshall. I was yeah. a student there in the 40s or the 50s, and it was state of the art. We had everything at our fingertips, you know, and we cover these stories about corruption and we understand what that means. But then again, once you get into the building and you see how it's been neglected for that long, yeah. you think this can't be allowed to happen. Let's get to the good part, which is that you've been able to be there when some of these changes have been done. And yeah. you've looked at the fa in fact, I, we memorably had a, a couple of the kids that you talked to uh, this past week on the air. Yeah. The difference, the palpable difference that a little bit of change seemed to make in their outlook about their school and about their daily life right. is rather profound, I thought. It is, and it really speaks volumes. You know, I was speaking to some kids in my neighborhood about it and explaining what we were doing, and these are kids that are fortunate enough to, to go to a private school. And, and they said, oh, a little paint. You know, it's a little paint in a school. Well, when we walked these kids into this cafeteria for the first time, they were lined up. And I didn't have a camera at that moment. I was just watching the kids. And there was this electricity. And you, you saw it go down the line because one kid looked into the cafeteria and then you just heard all the kids, did you see they painted? Do you see how clean it is? Do you see the dolphins? And then a mother came to check in her child and she walked in and she said, wow, what a difference. And I mean, we were talking with our producers and the we dolphins, thought- The dolphins, by the way, is the, the mascot. school mascot. Yeah. Yes, yes. And we thought, you know, we're just doing a little paint right now, phase one. But boy, we were really surprised just to see how that got kids excited. And, and 
they felt valued. Where do you want all this to go? To stop with us fixing one school? Is there a way for this to infect other businesses and organizations to do the same thing? What well, do you want to see? Well, we'd love to hear from, you know, corporate leaders in our community who might be willing to jump on the bandwagon yeah. with us. And, and, and hopefully it inspires people in, in every school district. I mean, not every school is perfect. That's right. There's challenges in all communities across Metro Detroit. So this is what we're able to do right here. And we hope that it inspires other people to make a difference in their own community. We sure do. We will, of course, be bringing you uh, chronic updates on what's <laughs> going on at Thurgood Marshall. Thanks, Hank. Sure, really Devin. good to have Thank you here. You. Great.